Good morning. We are up at our deer and grouse camp this morning. It's a Monday. I figured I'd take work off and get mad out. We're going to try and go do some grouse hunting this morning. Numbers are up. Everybody's giving me really good reports saying they just keep seeing tons and tons of birds up on the east side of the state. So we're going to get out and try and do some public and private land here. Um, my private land, I just want to go in, get my trail cam set up, maybe walk a few trails, but then we're going to head north, try and see if we can get up past Duluth and up near the Iron Range area and see any birds up there. This dude is stoked. Raring to go. You ready to go? It is 7.30 in the morning, absolutely perfectly clear sky. A perfect like 65 degrees leaves are changing and falling i just this is autumn it's perfect such a great morning all right we are at my stand got the trail cam set up didn't spook anything up on the way back here so we're gonna hit some more trails and then head out and go to public stay heal Hey, get up here, he's birdie. Ready to, ready to aim. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? This is the spot where they would be too. Wait, wait, stay. Hang on, I saw him keep flying. He's gonna be up here. He's gonna likely be like 10 feet into the woods. Just keep walking slow, you don't wanna miss something. Yep. Got your first shot off. How'd the gun feel? Incredible. I, I was surprised how little kick it has, but it's a small shot. Krauss just bought a, a Franchi Instinct SL. Yep. Such a nice gun. I wish I could buy that. <laughs> no, he's been wanting a gun like that for a long time. Hey, where'd he go? Probably I'm in the woods. Sure I Buddy, I saw him keep flying for a ways. You could have winged him. Did you see Mac getting really birdie? Yeah. How he hammered the ground? Yeah. He he knows when the smell is there. Yeah. Um I wanna go. He's gone, gone. That was a big bird. That was huge. Dude. I did not want to shoot because you were right in front I know, of me. I saw your barrel in my peripheral. Like, I, I held back. That was my train, you know. Yeah. It's me training that trigger finger. Those trail walking's not great for two people. No, well, we have two trails here, which is what I was going to do to set, set us up, but I didn't figure that same bird was going to be right there. Bro, that thing was huge. Yeah, that was a bigger bird. Have... Just slow down, buddy. Slow down. Um, damn it. I want you to walk this trail, and I mean slow, like we were just walking at the end. I'm going to walk that trail, so we just need Mac to go in between us to spook birds. Yep. Do you get it? Dead bird. Nice job, Kraus. Good boy. Go give it to him. No, to him. Go see. Place. Bring. Bring. Good boy. Drop. Drop. Just leave it. Good boy. Younger bird. Oh, look at that beautiful fan. We'll have to get this fan pasted on a wall for you, buddy. Nice job. Younger bird, that was a good one. Nice shot, buddy. I missed him completely. I was trying to aim around you through the trees and I just couldn't do it. No, you're good. It, it, dude, we both walked right past it. That was in that original covey. Call Mac. Go see. Go see him. Go see Kraus. He's birdie. 
Miss! Miss! I heard it. I think it was a miss. Did you miss one? You got it? Mac, dead bird. Place. Dude, they're all over in here. Dead bird. Dead bird. Mac. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Bring, bring. Kraus, there was two more that spooked out ahead of me. A lot of birds. All right. Hit that trail again. I'm going to walk in the woods because I just can't even see you and I don't get any satisfaction not seeing you get the shot off. You're at two today, buddy. I can get this damn thing in. It's way up high. I'm going to have to help you. Not flexible enough for it. Look at that fan. Female. Because the band's broken. I definitely hit it once because it, it just it popped or it could into the be nearest a tree. Male. Well, you got blood on it now. Okay, you walk trail. I'm gonna walk about 15 feet in from you. Okay. okay. Woodcock or grouse? All right, hang on. Stay there. Let me move around. Mac, in. I do want to tell you that this is not normal. Seeing eight birds like in five minutes like that is not normal. <laughs> Pretty exciting. That was crazy. Good shooting, Tex. You're Satan today, reincarnate. <laughs> Dude, he is not a pointer, so he has to stay close, and he knows this. And today he's like, yeah, I'm actually going to go 85. Maybe. But he's like, yeah, I'm going to go 85 yards away from you. So that one grouse literally threw down this trail. Like, yeah, so walk this for me. Yeah. You're probably going to find one at the top of the hill. Right front, right front. You just went on left side of the trail. Stay. 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 Mac just did? Yeah. I did hear a little something. Was it a woodcock? Okay. They, once all their snow is on the ground, they can't eat this anymore. Yeah, They'll come to these tag alders and they eat, oh, give me a, like these things, these, these little ones throughout the winter. Oh boy. Mac, that was on me. You were sniffing there and I pulled you off that one. That was a 15 minute period of time that all of that just happened in. We probably, and they could have been the same birds a couple of times, but that was probably like eight different birds at least. Yeah, Mac crossed like three of them that one time, but we only got one. Yeah, crazy, crazy birdie back here. We just finished up over on private. That was an insane 20 minutes. I, it was right where I knew we were gonna walk into all of them. Just absolutely hammered grouse. And that's because it's private, obviously. We don't get as much pressure up there. So it's one of those things where you just wanna get in when you can. So 
Now we're going up to public land. We're gonna go up past Cloquet. All right, we are at our next spot here. It's about half hour northwest of Duluth or so. I hunted this for deer actually about six years ago and they had just clear cut everything, leaving behind some swaths of old popple trees. So here we're looking out over a big logged area with some pretty, you know, small brushy aspen stuff. I'm assuming we're gonna run into some woodcock, but then they have a thicker stand over here of popple, aspen, those types of trees with a little bit of spruce in between. So I'm really hoping we see some birds in here. Hunt them up. We're gonna push the woods. Ready, buddy? A lot of trees here. You and I can probably just keep this distance maybe a little farther apart. Good cover right here. Lots of spruce down in here. Okay. Let me know if he ever gets out of your sight. Yeah, it gets low down there. We can. We absolutely can. Yeah. There's a bird up here. Shh. Mac, dead bird. No, it's it's up. Unless there was two. There was two. Another one took off. Another one took off in there. Three, four. I see, leave it, drop, bring here, bring. Keep your eye on the tree and start walking in. Yep, Mac, place, bring. Drop, give. Nicely done. Hold up. Let me come in with you. Two eyes are better than one. You can go in first still. Just let me get up here before you push in. He got out. Did he drop it all? I, I lost him after I shot myself in. He might have dropped back to the trail. Let's go one more time over here. Mac, place. Oh, he just took off. Oh my God, insanely thick in here. I went from saying there has to be birds in here, the cover's too good, to seeing four in a covey on the side of the road. I got one off the ground. Mac wasn't anywhere near him, so I felt safe to shoot it on the ground, but three others took off right next to it. Gotta capitalize on that. Three birds on the day, but we've seen 10, maybe. right above me Kraus no maybe I don't know he was flying low I'm gonna keep my eyes on where he went we got to take our time and look up I should have had that bird where is it right there right there Go in. Where's the bird? I don't think I got that one, Kraus. Right, this is where those birds push back to. No, we shot the first one here. They went up over that way. The first one I killed right here. Oh, yeah, you're right. So you went in here. And spooked him up there. Up. His tongue is bleeding so bad. There's thorns all over in here. Got it. 
Dead bird! Get ready up here, Kraus. They've been coveyed up all day. There's probably another one. Right here, dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Can I see? Can I see your mouth? You got leaves or feathers all over it. Let me see. Good job. Good job. Uh, a bit of an autumn phase. I think that's a female. Yeah. Smaller bird again. This is an insane day so far. There are a lot of birds in these woods. This is crazy. Max doing great. There you go. There you go, <laughs> He's goofy. Yeah, that's why he's slower the better. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're walking through stuff that thick, there's a pretty good chance that you're not gonna get the bird. Cause not only do you have to watch your feet, but then well, you have to pull so your to shoot. you have to pull your gun up through all the alders and stuff. And then you have to shoot through it as well. So mm -hmm. it's tough. It's tough going. It's always nice when a spot holds more birds than you think it's gonna. We're heading out from spot two. Gonna go out to a third run and maybe a fourth. We'll see what goes on the third. This looks the premier. This is, it really is. And I, I, I can bring you to a spot that looks grousy as can be, but I can't put the birds there. Yeah. We've already got birds. I hate how later in the day our, my legs just get like clonky. jello -y. Yeah, they're like I would, uh, That first hike we did, I would have already tripped. But... I think he's tired of foot. All right, wetter ground. This is where I kind of picked this spot for, was right here. This is like more so woodcock. What do you got? That was, that was birdie. Maybe we'll get something like to take off into the open through there. See, this is pretty young and thick. I think in like, oh. was that a bird? Yeah, that was a, that was a grouse. I didn't even have eyes on it, but that was definitely a bird. Where? That way. It's right in between us. I thought I saw it go down. Use your nose. Where is it? I just heard a woodcock. Let's keep walking this big patch of woods. That's a woodcock. <laughs> I was dead on him, Kraus, but look when I shot. That was a woodcock. Harder to hit than gross, that's for sure. Yeah. I saw him go up. Never saw him come down. Do you think that first one now was a woodcock or a grouse? Max birdie again. Might be just because we shot. Max getting pretty tired here on our third trail. We're only at like six miles on the day, but he's been busting this hump through here and. I've done a really bad job of conditioning him in the off season. He'll still pick up on scent just fine, but if I don't walk directly on top of it, or if Matt doesn't walk directly on top of it, we're not gonna find it. 
still working on that with him. He needs to stay spaced out at the right distance. Enough that we can still get a shot off, but far enough away that we're covering ground. Just an awesome day. Awesome fall day in the woods here, though. Took a couple of tag alders to the eye. So, as you can see, we have uh, safety glasses on now. How is there no grouse in here? Right as I say that, we're 15 feet from two of them. Miss, come. Are you kidding me right now? I ask and I receive, but I'm not ready when I receive. There's no grouse in these woods. Five seconds later, 20 yards from me. Unbelievable. These woods are thick. It's a thick day and it's hot. It's too hot for October. This is a little ridiculous. 75, it's great when you're trying to go out on the boat or go fishing, but when you're walking around the woods for grouse, I'm thinking ideally 50, 55. This is a bit much for us today. It's hot. Finishing up with that third trail, uh, we did see two woodcock and three more grouse. I hope I got the grouse on camera, but they took off so, so fast, so low to the ground, a little far ahead of us. Mac had quite a few flushes today. They were just out of reach. Um, not super happy with how far he was flushing them away today. We're gonna work on that because by the end of the hunt, he's sitting here just walking. We're not hunting anymore, are we, Mac? We're just walking on the trail. But anyway, an insane amount of flushes for us today. I think total it had to have been over, what, 20 kraus? He got his first bird. First one of the day, he got the first two of the day. I mean, he's a dead shot right off the bat. I caught back up, we both got two. When you come this far up north, and you hear all the stories, everybody's double limiting out and all that, you know. Makes you want to get more, but shooting wasn't quite on today. It's tough doing it in the thick areas. And you know, like I said, we're, we're walking through the woods here most of the time. We're not always just walking the trails. That's going to do it for us. Good first time hunting grouse. And the blast, absolutely. I think he's hooked. I think also it's the hats. It's the new hats. I made some new hats and we, uh, I think they were pretty lucky. M Nomad grouse hunting hats, so. Get your merch. Get, yeah, if anybody wants merch, I suppose they can uh, throw a comment down under the videos or something. I, I only do really small batches, but if people want them, I'm not gonna shy away from sending them to people. So let me know.